All right, today I'm gonna show you how to make the spring a little bit less hard. So here is an anvil knife. And these knives here, we produce them so that they last a really long time. So they are a little bit harder to engage the knife. So pushing it out, pushing it in. I've even had friends that have had to do it with two fingers for a little while. Um, but you don't have to necessarily keep it that way. You can adjust it. Now, I open up knives a lot, so of course my thumb is used to it. But you can get it adjusted. I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we see how much harder, let me show you that. So see how much harder, and you can even hear it, how, uh, how strong that, uh, that spring is. If we look at like a ViperTech here, this is ViperTech's most expensive knife you can buy there. It's like $139 or so, but it's super heavy and when you push it out, it's very weak, meaning when it goes in and out, it also slaps on the way back. You can hear it just slap. So again, this is pretty easy. Usually after a little while that, that uh, spring goes out because it's super weak. Um, and ours last a ton longer if you have the, you know, the strength to do it. Then you have uh, Benchmade, same thing. You know, you, it, it does have, it is a little bit harder. It's easy up until the very top, then it's a lot harder. It's easy to pull down until the very bottom, and then it slings back in, and that's a Benchmade there. Now this one we've oiled up, which is our, our Damascus uh, carbon fiber on one side blade. So my father, I made this for him. It's got his name, you know, engraved Almighty Father on it. And uh, for Christmas, I got it engraved for him. He wrote me and said, hey, it's just too hard. So I oiled it, oiled it up, also pulled the, uh, the spring a little bit, and it's much, much easier, meaning you can pull down, and then it goes in, pull up, and it goes pretty fast. So I'm gonna open this one up. I've got it already started. So I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to, I'm going to make the spring a little bit easier for him. You know, he's 67 years old. So we're going to take this off and see if we can get this to work a little bit for you to see. So once we got all of these out, get this one out. Sorry, you might be able to hear my puppy in the background. She is barking. All right, so we will pull that there. All right, and then to pull it all the way off, you just give this little tug here, and it's gonna come out. This will come off. You can see the oil that's in there. So here's, here's the mechanism with the spring. So for you to make this a little bit easier, all you gotta do is pop this spring off. See that just popped right off right there? So here's, here's the spring that clips on to both ends. Now, all you gotta do is just give it a little pull. Just tug it a little bit. And all we're doing is just pulling it more than what it's designed to do. And that is going to make it a little bit easier to go in and out. And again, doesn't take much. To get it to go and we're stretching it out just a little bit more and now we'll put it back inside um, the knife so to hook it there you just hook it on that side and you'll just throw it up and hook it on that side that's it that's all that it takes now we'll put it back in the blade just like so and actually I'm going to I'm going to unlatch this. I like it so that it's unlatched when I first put it in. It makes it go in a little bit easier. So I unlatch that. This goes back and forth. If I pull back here, it's going to clip into place. So I don't want to clip it into place. I want to pull it up so that it's in a neutral position when I put the knife, the spring back in. So we're going to hook this one back in again. We're going to clip there and clip this back. I can get it. There we go, clip that back in. This little point right here always goes out for the handle to go on it. So we'll put it right there. It slides right inside of its little pocket, its little home. We'll put this one here. 
and hold it with the finger, grab this one around, and close it up. Come on, close up. There we go. If I can get my finger to work. Hold on. Sorry, this one's not closing up. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I put that on wrong. So hold on. Let me flip this one around. Th this one goes on this side. Actually, one's a little bit longer than the other, and I forgot the longer one goes on the back. So we're going to put it onto the back. So there we go. Longer one to the back. Shorter one to the front. Clip that in. Flip it around. Put it in again. Into the sleeve. There we go. Put this thing back on. And this top goes there. There we go. Push it in. Clips into place, screw these back in, and we got ourselves an easier knife to move back around. All right, now that we've got it all screwed back together, these are all tight now. We obviously our knives come with the uh, the the bit to unscrew these bolts. All you need to do at that point is just pull this. It's engaged the knife, and now look how easy this one is. Yeah, easy it is. It's super easy. Like I can do it with any one of my fingers. It's so easy. Like I can do it with my left hand, my right hand. I've made it really, really, really easy. So in comparison, ours are tight. The reason why they're tight to last longer. So, however, if you want to loosen them up, it's totally fine, and you probably get a lot of time out of it. But if you can manage it, you know you don't have to. Now after about six months of using it constantly. You're gonna get to this about about this this ability right here. So again, you've got a bench made, and it's gonna be, you know, very similar. This one's a little bit harder right at the end. It's tough. This one's gonna be easy now that I adjusted it pretty much the whole way through and through. It's our Damascus steel versus just the black bench made knife. Super light. Ours is only I think one gram heavier because we got the back end here, but because it's carbon fiber, it is. This one's all aluminum. And then you've got this one, which weighs about seven times this one. And that's because it's made of total steel. And uh, then they have their Damascus blade um, on it. It's, it's just a huge knife. I mean, it is so much bigger and so much heavier uh, versus the other one here. And then you've got, of course, the Benchmade. So there's all three of them. Hope you like the video. And if you do need to ever make these springs a little bit looser, now you know how to do it. All you do is just give it a little tug and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys go to our website, Anvil Knives USA. We've got it on the back of these boxes here. Uh, Anvil Knives USA. Go and uh, support our business, and you can pick up one of these knives uh, today. So thanks again.